Hello everyone! I am doing another trailer park today. I had a lot of fun doing my first trailer park. Um, I'll link to that up above um, if you haven't seen that yet. But I had so much fun doing it that even before I finished it, I knew I was going to do another one. This one is bigger. It also has a few more amenities, like a pool that you can see me starting to put in. Um, originally, I wanted this to kind of be up. However, I couldn't get this in the platform area I was building to work together so I decided to change that and I actually like it be better than what I was picturing before so um, what I did here was just kind of create um, a nice little gathering spot um, that's what I'm building here and what I did was kind of just go around and do the community spaces first. Um, I do jump around a little bit in this build, a forewarning. Um, also, I apologize if you hear my cats in the background. They are play fighting with each other. Uh, it's not serious yet. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, no, you might hear them. But what I envisioned with these areas is just kind of gathering spots, and I'm really hoping the Sims will use them. I did a small play test, but I didn't run this as um, rentals. Uh, yet, but I do plan on kind of playing with this at some point. Uh, it's just, it just seems fun. Um, the other thing, like I said, I, I jump around a little bit in this build, but I also only furnish two of these trailers. The others have floor plans done inside of them. They have windows, they have doors, um, but I didn't furnish any of them or put paint or flooring on the walls. And part of that was just to kind of keep the cost to buy this lot down. Um, so hopefully maybe it's something that you can aspire to buy, you know, later on in your Sims journey. Because um, it is still somewhat expensive. I can't remember how much the lot cost. But I did upload it. Um, as a rental property, so all of the um, rentals are defined for you. You don't have to do any of that. And so yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. Now, however, that being said, um, I'm not, I haven't tried to change it from a rental property into a regular rental um, to do building for it. Um, However, what I have noticed is, one, it's very slow and cumbersome to build in the rental mode. Um, but I actually recently, yesterday, uh, was playing my own game where I decided to rent out my, um, or a little tiny house uh, to my Sims parents and I put that house on the lot changed everything over to the rental seemed to work well until I realized I was no longer the lot owner according to the game however when I went to move my Sims out and actually like try to move them back in and reset everything it's said I was the owner and then wouldn't let me sell it, wouldn't let me do anything. So luckily I had saved a version of this game right before the pack released and I was able to restore that and start again. I think I'm going to 
kind of hold off trying to run that as a rental right now, which is fine. It, I did it early. I just wanted to kind of play with it and see how it worked. Because I had saved that, I thought it was a good time to do it. Um, so my suggestion is maybe just do one trailer at a time. Um, the other thing would be I might do a couple of these and save them as rooms on the gallery so that maybe you can just plop them right back in, um, take out the empty ones and plop in a new one. Um, I also thought it'd be fun to maybe have a couple of different floor plans. Uh, I just haven't done that yet. Um, it probably won't be something I'll do as a speed build. I might do it as a, just kind of a quick, uh, I don't know, some pictures on Instagram or something. Um, so also, because I've just done it, um, if you didn't catch that, I found a cool little trick to get those corner cabinets in that I absolutely love to use. Um, you make a wall. So I put a wall out to the side of the trailer uh, where I wanted that cabinet and it fit right in. And I don't know why I didn't think about that before. It was very obvious and I'm sure somebody else has done it. <laughs> but that's my little trick that I figured out now, finally. Um, the other thing is, I can't remember if I did it on recording or I did it off camera, um, but I did try to add in some little areas in each trailer to put like the water heater and electric and all that. Unfortunately, that water heater is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be and wouldn't work in those areas. So. Um, the trailers don't have their own water heater. I did create a little space uh, over by the pool for the water heater and electric. So you can still have that gameplay while playing this. Um, it just won't be in each individual unit. However, if I do redo um, the trailers, I might put in uh, a couple of those. So we'll see. It's a lot of space. You need like a at least a four by four uh, to put those in and that's a lot of sp space in a trailer so we may just leave it where it's at and call it good because it still works for gameplay so the other thing with these trailers like this one is i'm still trying to make them kind of starter this one is all base game because i built this before the um four rent pack was out um and you know i didn't have early access so i couldn't play with it you know earlier uh, so this trailer especially doesn't have a whole lot in it from the pack um i did go back through and put in a few things just to kind of you know make that feel you know more involved with this trailer now the other trailer um i do i did put in more of the four red stuff because I didn't decorate it until after the pack came out. Um, I also really wanted to create this as a, you know, two kid household. Um, and so I put a toddler and a, a young child in there. And then you can see those double doors up at the top of the screen. Um, that's where I had put maybe a small little spot for a water heater before I knew the size. <laughs> Yeah, that, that won't work. I tried. I thought it was cute. It, if you uh, want like a little storage area, that works really well for uh, a storage. In fact, you could even use it to put um, the Seasons box in if you own Seasons. Um, that'd be a good little spot for it to kind of sit. Um, of course, I don't know how it would work if you're trying to... Uh, actually get decor out of it but you know <laughs> technicalities all right so the other thing here is um the curtains are a little different because i was trying to stick to base game and the for rent pack on this and so curtain choices are limited um but they are okay. I went through, I think I changed a couple of them in here once I got the four rent pack. Um, however, uh, 
I uh, didn't record any of that. So things might look just a little different in here uh, once uh, you get it downloaded because I did change a few things. Nothing major. I mean, everything is very similar. It's just added a few things. So the other thing I wanted to do here was I definitely wanted to create kind of a road that led up to this uh, community area. I had started with one just to kind of give myself an idea of where the trailers would sit, but I never planned on keeping that. Um, and I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Part of me really wanted to create maybe like a street look, and then I realized it just didn't fit in with the vibe of this park, at least not to me. Um, so I just did this dirt path and um, kind of brought that out so it goes into the playground area. And now I'm just kind of landscaping through. Um, still wasn't sure exactly what trailer I wanted to do next, so I figured I'd do all this. And I went through quite a few different changes with this landscaping. I kept thinking, oh, I want more, I want more. And then I'm like, no, we're in a desert, at least in this setting. I'm like, no, shouldn't add more. Um, however, if you add this into a different world, um, you know, feel free to change out the landscaping so it fits better. Uh, but um, this actually would work pretty well in uh, Tamarang. However, you probably may want to remove the cactuses. Um, but there's only a couple of those. So yeah, they have palm trees, you know. So that should all work out pretty well. Um, now here, just kind of adding lighting in, trying to get things lit up. Um, I also believe I end up replacing that hot tub with the new one. Um, and then here you'll see all of a sudden everything changed. Um, I added in these grassy areas to create kind of front gardens for each trailer. And um, I didn't record all that because it took me probably like 45 minutes just to get these figured out and put in and, you know, figured out what I wanted to put where. Um, and then I went through to and changed the stairs a little bit. I decided I didn't want railings on the stairs, uh, so I changed out how those looked. Um, and now just kind of landscaping the front of these trailers to, I don't know, give it something extra. Uh, if you keep this in this desert, uh, environment these little grassy areas from debug work really well uh, to just kind of create little planted areas so you can see here i tried to put that uh, water heater in and realized it wasn't going to work um, i brought in a sim to play test and yeah that was when i'm like nope that's not going to work so i took all the little rooms i'd put in out and then here i'm just making sure everything has doors windows um, I did keep it kind of on the dark side. Sorry about that. Um, it's because I brought in the sim and it was raining. However, eventually I think I go back into build mode. I'm not sure. Uh, but here I decided to do this front trailer. Um, and originally I'd had this cute little angled thing going on. Um, I actually lived in a trailer that had a cute little angled bedroom. Um, but it just didn't work right with this. So I took it out changed it up a little bit and I think this turned out really cute and again I have the for rent pack while I'm doing this one however you'll notice I keep using just base game on everything and as soon as I realize wait a minute I have the new for rent pack I can put more things in you'll see me change the curtains <laughs> uh, yeah it I finished this build up yesterday and it is Sunday when I'm recording this and um, I had before this done another like um, starter rental build and unfortunately something happened I lost the entire video for that um, so look for images for that on um, Instagram um, I have the link below in the description to my Instagram account. Um, and I might do like a sh walkthrough thing with uh, shorts. So we'll, we'll see 
if I can get that done today. Um, unfortunately, I live in Tennessee and we had some really strong tornadoes come through the area and my niece has been affected by that. So she's going to be possibly spending the day at my apartment. So I may not be able to get that up and done as quickly as I wanted to. Um, I did plan on doing some extra builds this weekend, but again, unfortunately due to weather situations um, and recording situations, I wasn't able to do that. So, um, so yeah, back to the regular schedule. Um, I was really excited to do some of that too. So I'm a little bummed, but you know, my, my niece is more important. Sorry, I'm in a video. Um, so here, just kind of finishing things up, getting uh, more windows and stuff put in as I realized I missed a couple for windows um, and just kind of finishing up everything. Uh, overall, I do really like how this turned out and I really hope you guys like how this turned out. So let's take a look. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this build. I had a lot of fun doing this and probably will do more trailer parks. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day now. Bye.